Okay, lights, 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 backdrop, boom, it's official. Okay, so what's up, guys? Mark from Thuzian Productions. You guys know who I am. If you're watching this on IG, obviously, you know it's me. If you're watching this on YouTube, I'm probably going to up this on upload this on YouTube, too. Just so you guys can kind of, it's kind of like my plug-in to know that you guys are, for you guys to know that I am going to be posting on, you, on IGTV as well. Just probably going to be posting things like this, because... I can do shorter videos on IGTV and longer videos on YouTube. So, just kind of like my way of moderating and kind of putting myself out there, of course. But these, what you guys are looking at, are recent pickups. Um, a couple of them, or most of them, is from Gundam Labs Hobby over in Hayward, which I frequent. Not as much as Tatsu Hobby, but I do frequent at Gundam Labs Hobby. Um, interesting day when I picked these up on, I think it was, it was on Friday, pretty sure I did it on Friday, but, uh, interesting day. Uh, I met another hobbyist, an artist actually, uh, over there. I'm probably going to save that for a separate video because there's a whole topic that we all kind of discussed as we were at the shop. Anyway, I don't want to get into that. Um, but I picked up a couple things, as you can see, this is kind of what I was, uh, talking about in my last video that I wanted to get before I started building more kits. Panel line accent color, black. I might get the gray, I don't know, but we'll see how the black works. Obviously this stuff costs eight bucks. Um, I wanna experiment with that. I'm kinda of tired of using the pen. I wanna try something different. Plus this is usually like a faster, cleaner application, which those are for. I don't think I necessarily needed these, but um, I want to try these out. These are basically really fine tip Q-tips, fine point Q-tips. So it makes it easier to clean things, I'm pretty sure. Um, they're supposed to be used to paint makeup <laughs> on model kits and stuff like that. But I saw people at the shop using these to clean up number, uh, to clean up uh, panel lines and stuff like that. So I'm gonna try it out. <laughs> um, yeah, just, yeah. I'm gonna build that and review this, okay? <laughs> Don't judge me. All right, so this one here, I got at um, Barnes & Noble, because Barnes & Noble is actually pretty lit when it comes to uh, the newest Gundam kits. If you want something new, and you don't have a hobby shop nearby you, chances are you probably at least have a Barnes & Noble by you, so you can stop by Barnes & Noble. They actually now even have tools and Gundam marker sets too, so that's pretty cool. Um, good for like anybody who's trying to start the hobby or get back into it or whatnot uh Barnes and Noble is actually the spot I go to all the time to see what they have that's new because usually because because it's bluefin um you can get some of the, the newest things so they got a lot of build divers things they actually had the the red beret they had the double o diver they even had the the turn red master grade which personally I'm not that interested in but goes to show you that they at least keep up to date with their stuff they even have the double zeta in there so uh pretty good spot if you want to do like anything new and obviously local if you can't find a hobby shop so this breaks my personal rule of <laughs> not getting any build divers kits i don't know i saw this in person at gun uh gundam last hobby and i was like all right you know what it's gonna be easy build very little panel lines and i've built this kit before the h2 dark hound to be exact i know what it's like let me just get it out of the way plus it's dope <laughs> now the next one this one's going to be a little bit different actually did i get this yeah i got this at yeah so this is barnes and noble this one though the gurns back the m9 gurns back this is from full metal panic invisible victory <laughs> Something like that. It's a new Full Metal Panic series. I have no idea about. I have no clue about. Like, I'm completely clueless. But now that I picked this up, I might actually watch the anime. Uh, my downtime when I'm not watching Bill Fighters or Bill Divers. But I saw these kits first at Barnes & Noble. I saw the Arbalest, uh, which is that guy right there. He has a bunch of knives. It's a cool gimmick. But I saw it in person built and the detail is crazy now this kit is pretty much high grade sized but it's got the the amount of detail that you could probably get from a real grade so i'm interested to see how this one turns out and then i might actually go pick up the arbalist and then whichever that one's called because that one has swords and shit 
so that might be dope um so i might actually complete the set just because i like the way they look but we'll see how they build um and these do cost a little bit higher than normal high grades they actually cost just about as much as a real grade so i got this for 30 dollars, 30 32 something like that but yeah this is actually something i'm going to build and review um on my youtube so look forward to that because it's, it's different it's you know it's not gonna but it's it's something new and it's something different so definitely look forward to that just like i'm gonna build and review this thing so yeah those are just some of my recent pickups i don't know where i just tossed the h2 magnum how careless of me but yeah i'm excited for this um this is going to allow me to start working on the real grades again gonna experiment with the high grades first but yep there it is y'all um i'll see you guys later if you're on youtube catch you in the next video like comment share subscribe you know the whole thing if you're on instagram then yeah obviously i'll see you guys later so peace